going to be another outdoor kitchen analysis from myself again, Jonathan, aka Senior Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County, New York, um, where we have flattened the curve, by the way, and then some. Um, I want to take you back in history. I want to go back a year um, because I have an outdoor kitchen that begs to be analyzed. And um, this was a kitchen that was done in Briarcliff Manor in Westchester County. And I think it's a great example to explore because this couple came in, uh, I'll never forget the day they came in, as a complete blank slate. Um, they didn't even know where to put it in their backyard. And they simply just said, you got to help us with everything. We need pretty much turnkey solution on this. And um, what happened was I had the initial meeting with them, showed them around, showed them a lot of different product. And then we followed, we started then what we call the ROF process. Uh, which kicks off with, um, you know, there's a trip to the showroom, obviously, and then a visit to the house. I'm not going to get into the whole process on the video. Uh, that's something that uh, we'll share with customers as they come in, and we deal with them uh, on a one-to-one -one basis. Don't need to be sharing all this stuff with the world. But um, I will say that um, after some deliberation going back and forth, we came across a plan um, and at one point it had gotten to be there were going to be two islands, there was going to be a cooking island, and then behind it there was going to be a, uh, a wet bar that was going to have refrigeration and a sink in it. They were going to run parallel to one another. And we took into consideration a lot of factors, the way that these, uh, this couple likes to entertain, um, um, so on and so forth, the size of the patio. And what we came up with was about a 15 foot straight run which um, uh, we showed in some of the renderings over here. Some things had to be moved around. Um, there was the idea, again, whether the sink was going to be in the main island or whether the sink was going to live in a parallel island, which that plan was ditched. Then there was a question about the grill equipment. There was a lot of, um, uh, I think if I remember correctly, this one kind of hinged between Alfresco and Heston. The wife liked the Heston colors. The, um, the husband who did most of the cooking liked the alfresco just because of the fit and the finish and some other, uh, the drop and accessories that alfresco offers. They ended up going with alfresco. And then there was some deliberation again about the refrigeration. Um, they weren't comfortable spending with the amount of money that was being spent on the project in general. They wanted to save some money along the way. And they ended up going with um, draw refrigerators instead of a single door, uh, but they ended up doing summit instead of Marvel Uline and one of the American made uh, products. And it was simply, he just couldn't justify being in the mid threes on a, uh, on a draw refrigerator. Instead, it was about, you know, 1600, 1700 for that piece. But um, anyway, you could see how this rendering uh, suddenly turned into this. And uh, taking a look at the island from, we're gonna move from left to right over here. Um, we have the, Summit draws, 24 inches. We have the Alfresco power burner, which in this case, I would have um, dropped this down uh, a little bit. It's just much easier to deal with the power burner from a lowered height of about six to 12 inches. It's just easier to deal with heavy stock pots and such. There's an access door underneath there. That access door, by the way, is serving two purposes. It's not only for the uh, gas shut off for the power burner, but it's also for the 42 inch alfresco grill, which is next in line. Uh, underneath the 42 inch alfresco, we have the 42 inch dry storage pantry uh, from alfresco. Next to that, we have the warming draw, which for them was important because they entertain a lot. And he envisioned a situation in many situations where he was gonna be taking food off the grill and wanted to keep it warm. And at the end of the island, we have the drop in undermount sink with an access door underneath it for the water shut off. In the back of the island, we have a few Blaze Island vents to keep everything breathing nice, nice, nice. Um, the island was provided by ROF. It's part of our ROF uh, island um, outdoor solution. And what happened was it was delivered on site and we worked with his uh, trusty Mason um, to, who put the uh, veneer on it. And, um, and the countertop as well, who I believe, um, I, think the, I think the countertop is procured in Mount Kisco. I'll have to double check and see who the vendor was and that. I think I know who it is, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna state it on video yet uh, without definitively knowing. So um, what came as a, uh, what started as two 
folks that were completely bewildered about this process ended up being one of the, I think, one of the better outdoor kitchens we did last year. And it wasn't without its pitfalls. I mean, again, there was a lot of deliberation about the product. Um, I remember we had a few hiccups in the actual construction mode uh, where the, the mason was having issues with having the veneer adhere to the, to the island structure. And we, we got around that pretty quickly. And um, uh, what else? I mean, some things I would have done differently with it. Again, the power burner should have been dropped down a little bit lower. Uh, in my opinion. They have ample countertop space here, so I certainly can't uh, criticize that. He's got tons over the refrigerator. He has enough uh, between the sink and the grill. And um, uh, I think they did an absolute bang up job here. We actually had the thing framed and it's one of the, uh, one of the key outdoor kitchens that we show uh, customers um, in our display case here and as well as on the ROF um, website. So, um, you know, this is one of those situations where, you know, you'll have people come in and they know what they want. They already have a hand drawing. Um, they may even have our architectural renderings from a landscape architect. And when that amount of work is done, I mean, the rubbers hit the road already. It's just pretty much filling in uh, the grill equipment. And, uh, you, you know, it's, it's an easier process. And something like this, this is more challenging, quite frankly, more fun because they're coming in. Uh, as a blank slate and that's and that's very important to understand how we differentiate here at ROF that it's not an appliance store and it's not a hardware store I mean we're not selling Weber and you know another high-end grill brand uh, for three months out of the year okay we do this 12 months out of the year in conjunction with Curdo's and um, you know we you come to us for soup to nuts and that's the difference, and um, amongst other differences. And, uh, you know, it's, it's important. And the guy said to me afterwards, he was so psyched uh, when it was finally finished. I mean, all the um, text message pictures uh, were being sent out to, to a bunch of us. And he, uh, um, he was just like, man, I'm just so happy I came to you guys because I don't think this would have gotten done if I had six different trades uh, working on it. I mean, it would have been done, but it would have taken longer. It would have been a far more frustrating process. So um, that's what we're here for, pretty much turnkey. And we can take a blank piece of your, in this case, his patio, okay, and turn it into something wonderful. I mean, in this case, it was ma we matched it up to the um, exterior of the house. Um, he has told me that um, I mean, he's so happy, obviously, he did this in 2019 as opposed to this year. So now he's pandemic grilling outside all the time with he and his wife. And, um, you know, just I still hear from him. I mean, I consider the guy actually a friend at this point. Um, really great guy, wonderful a woman. His wife is great as well. And, um, you know, they just they're they were pretty happy, to say the least. So we're here to help. Um, you can hit me up at jonathanacurtos.com, questions at rofgrills.com is another way to hit me. And uh, I would I'll welcome you to come in to Curtos, come into the building, we're open. And if you have any projects that you want done, whether it's an outdoor kitchen or something on a much larger scale for the outdoor, you come in, you let us know, we can assist. Thank you very much.